Hi guys, I'm Johnny and today I'm going to show you how to make a Guinness chocolate cake with a bay leaf frosting, buttercream frosting. This is so delicious. I wanted to share this recipe a long time ago but for an unfortunate series of events I couldn't make it before but today I'm going to show you. I love this cake. It is so moist. It is incredible. So let's get baking. So guys, in a heavy bottom saucepan, I'm going to go ahead and add my butter and my Guinness and my Guinness beer and I'm going to heat it there over medium heat until the butter is melted. Once the butter has melted I'm going to go ahead and add my sugar and my own sweetened cocoa powder and I'm going to mix that all together and I'm going to set it aside until it comes to a room temperature and after that here I have a large bowl and I'm going to go ahead and add my flour, my baking soda, my salt and I'm going to mix that all together So in a separate jug, you're going to go ahead and add your sour cream, your eggs, and your vanilla extra. And using a fork, you're going to whisk it all together. After you whisk it all together, you're going to go ahead and add your butter and beer mixture and mix it all together. And now that, you're going to go ahead and add it to your dry ingredients and mix with a, with a whisk until it is, there's no more flour. But make sure you don't over mix because you don't want to end up having like a like a really tough cake. Here I have two cake tanks. These are six inches that I place some parchment paper in there and I'm going to go ahead and divide my batter evenly into my cake pans and I'm going to bake them for like 40 to 45 minutes or until a toothpick insert into the center comes out clean. So guys, while my cakes are in the oven, this is the perfect time for me to make the bay leaf barking frosting. So here in the bowl of my stain mixer, I'm going to go ahead and add my soft butter. And I'm also going to add my powdered sugar. So I'm gonna try not to make a mess here. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna add all my powdered sugar. And I'm gonna mix that there until the butter is incorporated with the, with the sugar. So guys, once your mixture is looking like this, as you can see, it's just, it haven't even formed a dough, I mean like a, like a frosting, because now we're going to add the bay leaf. The, the Bailey rum, so we're gonna so we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of that, and then the frosting is gonna get combined. It's gonna get nice and creamy. So because if you add too much butter, what tends to happen is that the the consistency of the of the frosting is too like very soft. I tried before, and that's what I had the other day. So I'm gonna add my bailey in there and I'm gonna keep mixing so I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons until we form a buttercream And this is your frosting. As you can see, it is nice and creamy. It has nice consistency. So I'm gonna allow my cake, I bake my cake for 45 minutes and I'm going to allow them to cool completely and then we're gonna frost them. So now this, put it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. So guys, I have one of my cakes here and it have cooled completely. And what I'm going to do, since this is like nice and high, I'm going to cut it in half. I'm gonna cut each of my cake in half. That way I have more layers. So guys, what I did was to cut my two cakes in half. So I have four pieces now, four layers. And what I did was to put some frosting in here. And now I'm going to spread it around. This cake is so moist. And I have it on my turntable, but you don't, you don't need the turntable. You just make 
decorating more easily and I'm planning I'm not planning on decorating this cake like frosted all the way I think I'm gonna leave it like kind of naked So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed my recipe for Guinness chocolate cake with the bay leaf buttercream. Give it a go, let me know how you like it, and i see you next time. Bye bye.